Here we are again with Harem in the Labyrinth of Another World, episode 3. And last episode, um, we went into our first labyrinth to make some money for Roxanne so that we can buy her. And it didn't turn out so well. It takes a lot of time for low amounts of money and we need a lot. So we decided to change plans, which was basically that we want to go after bandits and bounties. For high risk, high reward, but the main character decided, hey, if I risk my life anyway, then let's go for what makes the most money. But yeah, if you like what you see, or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I would reach, I would reach, I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Exactly. We need the money in like four days or so, or maybe even three by now. Yeah, it's not always like that. Okay. I like how he's planning everything. Because so far it seems like he plans. Like he's always like, like in the second episode when he went into the labyrinth, he was also like, I, ch I choose these two classes or three classes or jobs. So I like that. I, I hope we get more of that, that he like, is like tactical about stuff. Three days until the deadline. <laughs> and we need like, what, 70,000 more or so? Appraisal. Now he checks everything out. Can you see if there's a bandit? <laughs> I guess that could make sense. I mean, maybe a bandit is in disguise. Yeah, he sensed something. <clears throat> Did he sense bandits or some something? Slumps. Yeah, slums back in those times, like medieval, must be really bad. And that mu that must smell really bad. Mm, why? Yeah, maybe he increased his mana or something. He has to be motivated if he wants to get some money for Roxanne. Don't want to miss out on the waifu. This is so handy. <laughs> oh, is this a brothel? A rat like district. Here we go, boys. <laughs> of course, it's different. Mm -hmm. God damn it. Oh my. Hello. I mean, yes, there could be a risk of being scammed. That's also a valid point. Stay strong. Gambaray. He has a scar. He must be a bandit. Oh. Bandits. <laughs> That's a few. Oh! So there are people that are left over. Two days? Oh my god! More than half the time is up. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Can't be all just one group of bandits, right? Hmm. Because Hugo died, right? Oh. So they basically. He basically beat the one that inherited the turf or whatever. Now the other ones took over? <laughs> he imagines the feeling. 
Drooping Giants? Bruh. <laughs> Wait, what? What did he buy? His... What is that? <laughs> Too much fantasizing. I mean, I really can't blame him. She looks good. That's a party trick. Now you see my sword? Now you don't. What did it say one day? Oh, Hugo's bandana. What? How much is one gold coin again? So how much is a gold coin if bandits can only fork out 200,000? Oh, he's not dumb. And he takes a chance, of course. Oh, that's why he attacked the village to... Because he was chased out? Interesting that a bandana has so much value. If I have some bandana, I can do some shit. Oh, oh, oh my, he is so smart. I just realized that the bandit took his sword and thought, oh, I have him disarmed. Now I can attack him, but he can just get his Durandal out of nowhere. And he took the chance, dude. That's so smart. God damn. And there goes the hand for the bounty. Dude, that's like big brain, uh, big brain strats. I love it. Female bandit level 14 11. Sneaky! That's a good backup strat. Oh. Uber. <laughs> God damn! Dawn sword. He come just swinging? Ooh. Damn, he is very tactical about it. Oh man, that's so handy to warp. Dude, I like this. This is awesome. I really hope we get more of this. That he, he like thinks about the stuff and makes some tactics, chooses different skills and stuff, or classes, jobs. Yeah, I mean, now he realized. Now he realizes what he'd done. Yeah, but for him, it's probably like, he's not used to it. And the first time he killed people, he thought it was a game. That could be a possible way. That is also something to worry about. Yeah, that makes sense. Man, I like how he thinks about this stuff. Oh yeah, he, he has to do it because of Roxanne. The day of the deal. Hope this is enough money. <laughs> Imagine he, he's missing a bit of money. Can you extend the deal, please? <laughs> Give me like one or two more days. Connections, very important too. <laughs> so he just cut off their hands. Yeah, let's check if he killed innocent people and maybe not bandits. <laughs> Imagine. I mean, I guess they are lower than slaves, basically. Because slaves can become bandits if they run away. So I guess bandits are lower. I guess he has enough. Oh, we get Roxanne. Let's go, boys. Get the waifu. You are the right one. You are the chosen one. <laughs> Amazing. Let's go. 
First wife wins the squad. She didn't seem happy. Did she change her mind? Is she not liking it anymore? Okay. But. Oh. Oh, now she feels bad about it. That she doubted him for a second. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? That's not. That's nothing. She is such a good girl that she feels bad about it. And she must really be wanted to be bought. <laughs> if she feels that bad about doubting him for like once, it makes me wonder, does she like him that much for whatever reason that she, that it's like that or would she be the same for like any customer? Indeed, my boy. That's good, I would say. But I'm still wondering why the slave trader gave him the deal. Hell yeah. <laughs> First night will be something special. <laughs> So yeah, this was episode three, and I liked it. What I what I definitely like is how tactical he is about everything. Like he chooses his because in episode one, I think it was no, I think episode two when he entered the labyrinth, we he said that he had like a reset. So I guess he can reset his stuff every time. So he can just choose his different jobs and everything and combine it in the best way for him. And he really uses that with like thinking about it, like which jobs do I want to take for like the best results. And I really like that, how tactical he is. Um, like not only like choosing his jobs, but also like how he wants to encounter the bandits and stuff. Like with um, putting a piece of cloth over the, over the head and then putting the sword underneath to cut through it. Uh, for like to do it more stealthy and all that stuff i really liked it and teleport away to wait in front of the door so when the door opens so that he can attack it, it's really cool to see a character that actually thinks <laughs> and is not just like yeah let's go in and do our stuff and yeah we win cool uh i like the i like that a lot about this and i'm still wondering about some stuff like first of all when he sensed something when he first came into the city i still i think we still don't know what it is did he sense maybe the bad intents like the bandits or something like the bad bandits or did he sense something else what changed his like feeling when he was driving on the carriage and i'm still wondering why this uh, why the um trader here may gave him the deal for roxanne i'm because i mean i guess he could have just given it to someone that is more wealthy or something i'm still wondering why he, he gave him the deal maybe he has some plans for it maybe he has some like wants to knows that in the future he will be a good customer or something and wants to have like a good relationship or something i don't know it makes me really wonder why he would give like a high tier uh high tier worker <laughs> to our boy um when he could give it to someone else right uh and i'm like like i said earlier in the reaction i'm also wondering is rock would re uh, wrote the dip dip would roxanne be happy with any customer or is she just like happy to be bought by our boy uh i forgot his name what is his name michio or something um because she was like really um she really felt bad that she doubted him for like once um so i was wondering is it just because it's him or would she feel bad for doubting anyone when anyone would would want to buy her and she would doubt someone makes me wonder if what's the case if it's just like yeah it would be the case with anyone or just because our she has like a special interest in our boy 
So I don't know, and that's like some things I'm interested in, and maybe we will we will get some answers in the next episode or somewhere down the line. Hopefully, I would like to get some answers answers to that, like especially like why we got the deal, why he didn't give that to someone else. Um, but yeah, that's it for the episode. If you liked what you saw, and if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe, or a comment. I would really appreciate it, and it would really help me. But yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.